automatic algorithm game. Um, the fitness score here, as we can see here, is the equation that I'm trying to find the minimum values of x and y for. And <coughs> if we get it right, it should uh, give fitnesses of zero. So let's start. So I'm going to use two dice and it's going to give us numbers between 1 and 6. I've just rolled a 1 and a 5. <coughs> Roll again. 5 and 1. Six and four. Four and five. And I've got two and a three. Oops. And you can see the fitness functions changing. Six and two. Okay. So the next thing we do is we need to choose the parents. I'm going to use a form of tournament selection. I'm going to use the dice to help me. <coughs> so this came out as five and six. So we find this is number six, this is number five, which is the smallest. Well, it's this one, number six. So this gives us the first part of our new child, which is the six from here. Okay, we can roll the dice again. If we get the same number, we have to keep rolling. If we get a five and a six again, we keep rolling until we get two different numbers that don't appear in parent one. And I've got one and three this time. <clears throat> so looking at one, looking at three. Well, the nine is smaller, so we choose that one. So it gives us the y value. Let's do one more. So we've got a two and a one. And we've got two and three, so I'm going to roll again the two to get a different number. And five and three. So we'll look at one and two and find the smallest. That gives us the X. I look at three and five. Well, that gives us the y value because the three comes out being the smallest. <coughs> we can keep this idea. I'm just going to produce some random numbers, but we could if we're playing the game. Well, let's do it one more with the die. Got one and five. Got five again, three and six. So one and five, well, the 20 is smaller than the 41, so we put a two in there, and that one. Three and six, three gives us that one, six gives us that one. This is the smallest, six. So we put a two in there. And we can, I'm going to just make some numbers up two and three this time, and one and five. Okay, two and three. The two is going to be the smaller. Gives me a five there. One and five. One, five. 
much the same as the previous one. So we get to go for the 20, so we can put a 3 in there. I can keep doing this. 4, 5, I don't know, 2, 3, 4, 5, well, it doesn't matter which one we choose, so we just choose one of them. Because they both give us 20, so let's choose a 2, and 5, and 2, 3, well, we get, definitely get a 1 on 2, so we Put the one from here and five, six, you know, one, four, five, and six. Well, we get six. Six one here gives us a six. It's the best out of those two, five and six, and one and four, one and four. Now. 20 is less than 41, so we get a 5 there. So we've now got a new population. <clears throat> Next operator we need to do is we need to do mutation. So we roll one dice for each one of these, and if we get a one, we, we're going to mutate it. And what we're going to do by mutation is we're just going to um, roll the dice again and get where the number appears. So I got a one on the first one and a two on the next one. So I'm going to change this one, roll the dice, I'm going to put a five in there. So I'm going to do that for the next one. Again, this one came up with a one, this one on the dice, and this one came up with a four, so this one's going to change. Roll. Okay, give us a two. The idea with the mutation is it, it, it tries something different. So, Five and four, so we don't change anything on the next one. Three and five, don't change anything. Five and four, don't change anything. And two and three, don't change anything. So we've now got our new population to try out. So what I'm going to do is just, oh, I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is make a note of the average fitness, and that's 15.3, and I'm going to find out which is my best one of these. Well, let's go with the f 5 and 1. There's two that could come out there, they're both ending 1, so let's just choose that first one. So, cut and paste. So if we look at the average fitness, it's actually gone down a little bit. Let's not read too much into that. The best fitness this time is 5 and 3. So let's say I stop with these numbers, but really we should roll these again, but just for simplicity I'm going to keep them. 5 and 6, just choose one of them, it gives me 2 there. 1 and 3, 1, 3, 4, stays there. 1 and 2, well, actually gives us 5. 3 and 5, there's 3, there's 5. 
lower than 70, so put a 1 in there. 1 and 5, 1, 5, 10 lower, so that becomes a 5. 3 and 6, so Sixteen is lower. Uh, two and three, or two is below. It's less. It's less than twenty-five. One and five. Uh, we get four from number one. Um, four and five, well, we get a nice little five there, and that five there. Two and three, we get two here. Five and six, yeah. let's keep that six from there. One and four, that one, and that one. Well, give us a three there. Okay, let's roll for mutation. Five and four, so we don't do anything in the first one. One and six, so we're going to change this one. To a six. Roll again. Four and five, don't do any. One and five, so we're going to change this one. Foot. That comes back to five, so we're going to leave that. Five, four, rolled, don't change anything. Six, two, don't change anything. Okay. So, let's see what comes out of this one. Twelve and... with the best score being 5 and 3. Okay. So, let's roll some more for these. Just going to change that to two and four. Yeah, so these should be rolled each time. Okay, so two and four, two, four. You get five in there on the fourth one. One, three, one, three. You get a four in here, which that stays there. One and two, five. Nine, so ten and nine, so we choose the lowest, which is a six. Three and five, three, five, two, and it gives us, oh, that stays as it is actually. Okay, so we carry on doing this. And one and five, four, make that five. Three six three six make that one five that actually stays the same. Um two three two three that becomes a six one five Stays at four. Uh, 
uh, four five. Get five there. Two three. Get four there. Five six. Play the six there. And then one four. So. Roll that. Let a one and a four. So we're going to change the first one. It came out as a five, so we didn't make any changes. Roll for the next row. No change on that one, comes two and five. Now for the next one, we've got a one and a two, so we're going to change that one. And it comes a five. Roll for the next row. Nothing, four, three, five, five. And nothing on that one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, nothing on that one. Okay. So here's our new one. Nine point six six seven with the best one being five and two now. All right. Just for fun, I'm going to swap those on. Uh, play with those. Uh, five six. Five and six, five and four, add two and four, and one and six, four, three, four, four, um, two and three. Just making some numbers up at the moment. And then one and three. So, okay, go through this five, six. Yeah. Take that last, keep that. That becomes, let's say that becomes a six. Two, four. That becomes a three. Three six. And three. Six. So we got a five. Five goes there. <clears throat> One, two. Put the four there. Five and four, two and four, sorry. Two, four. Put five in there. One, five, one, five. Put the one in there. One, six, one and six. So I'm going to get five in there. Two, three, that goes down to two. Uh, there we go, two, three, four, 
two, three, five stays there. Four, five. Now that goes down to three. One, three. Five, five, six. I think I should wrap them there. Okay, so we roll the dice. And we get four one. So this one here is going to change. Yeah, take that down, roll to the one, put that in there. Next one. Six and five, nothing. Six and two and four, sorry, nothing. Five one. Roll it. That comes out to a two. I change that one. One and two. So I can change this one. Roll the dice. It came out as a five, so we'll stick with that. One and four. So we need to roll for the first one. And it comes out to a six. Roll for this. Right, six and three, nothing. So this now becomes our new one. After five generations, the average fitness has gone down. And we're now at 3.16667. Best result is that one. If we use the same numbers again, we really should run this different dice each time, but okay. Dice roll. So, 5 and 6. Comes out as a five, two, four, two, four. That comes down to two there, three, six, there and there. So the five, one, and two. Well, we're there on that one. Two, four, no, we're going to have to five, one, and five, well, we're not going to beat that one, so the one stays there. One and six, well, that's six there. Two, three. Now we end up with two in there, so that stays there. Two, three. Five. Four, five. That goes to a two. One, three. Now if we get six there. Five, six. Okay. 
Okay. Well, nothing for mutation. Nothing for that one. We've got three and two. Nothing for that one. Nothing for that one. Nothing for that one. And nothing for that one. Okay. So that becomes our new population. Now, let's just make the changes. That's what we should have. That's what should be plugged into there. Okay. After six, average has gone down. And you can see these numbers are dropping. Okay. So the best one, again, is six and one. And you can see that most of the population is now five or six and ones and twos here. So we're fine tuning in on our own. So, five and six, six comes out, so that becomes a six there. Two, four, two, and four. One and two. Let's leave that as a two then. Three, six. Three, six. No, we're not going to beat six. One here. One and two, one comes out there. <clears throat> two, four, two, and four. No, let's take that, keep that five. One and five. I don't think that. Two time. One and five. Two and six. Well, we know it's going to be six there. Six beats everything at the moment. Two, three. That becomes a one. Two, three again. Number five there, stage of five, four, five, two stays as it is, and three. Five, five, six. Well, at the moment. Nothing. Don't do the mutation, nothing on the first row, nothing on the second row, nothing on the third row, nothing on the fourth row, nothing on the fifth row, nothing on this one. So we don't mutate every time. Okay, so right, let's cut and paste. Let's cut and paste that one in. To be honest. So that goes those, those stairs they are. And we can keep going on like this. And what we'll see in the end is this actually is the answer we're looking for. We'll get a point when we'll have very little errors going on. 
and we've found our grave.